Let's be clear here from Clare Maths. Today we're going to go through the whole of scientific notation in National 5 Maths. That includes every single past paper question on scientific notation. Now, with scientific notation in National 5 Maths, usually it's in the context of another question, so be aware of that. But I'm going to go through straight away what is scientific notation. So let's give you a quick example with a big number and a small number. So if I take a big number, like 631,000, I can write that in a different way, and all you do is you take your first number, 6, put a point straight away, and then 3, 1, 6.31. That number, first number, always has to be between 1 and 10, so it's then times 10 to the power of, and to get your power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers after the 6, so it's to the power of 5. I can do it again with another big number, let's say we had 202,000... Then that would be 2.02 now just zero 02 times 10. And again, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers after. Okay, let's do a small number. So for a small number, 0. Point, like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 7, 9, 1. This is where the power of it comes in. Instead of having to write like that big number with all those zeros, I can just skip ahead to the first number of each and then start with a 7 point the rest of the numbers. So it's 7.91 times 10 to the power of. Now, to get my power, it's a negative power because it's a small one. So you can imagine the points here, and it's jumped 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's minus 7. There is a quick and easy way to get that number as well, though. It's just all the zeros in front of the first number. However many of them there are will be this power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's minus 7. Let's do it a quick way again with another small number, so 0 0.00000000006028 would be 8028. So I go along with the first number, 8.028. 8.028 times 10 to the power of, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's minus 11. And we're going to do sums where you have to do sums with scientific notation. I'll show you how to put that in a calculator. Right, 15, paper 2, question 6 on volume. We've got two parts to this. Part A says, the Earth is approximately spherical with a radius of 6,400 kilometres. Calculate the volume of the Earth, give me your answer in scientific notation. Correct the two significant figures. And then part B says, the approximate volume of the Moon is 2.2 times 10 to the 10 cubic kilometres. Calculate how many times the Earth's volume is greater than the Moon. Okay, so let's start off with part A, which is a straight volume question. Once we've done part A, we're going to do part B, which is a scientific notation question. 6A, since we're using a sphere, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed. Get that from the start of the exam paper. So that's 4 thirds times pi times the radius 6,400 cubed. That equals 1.098 times 10 to the 12 which we round that to two significant figures, so that's 1, 2, 1 1.1 times 10 to the 12 kilometres cubed for a final mark. Part B, the approximate volume of the Moon is 2.2 times 10 to the cubic kilometres. How many times the Earth's volume is greater than the Moon's? How many times? So I need to do the Earth's volume divided by the Moon's volume. So step one, identifying that we need to divide. So we do 1.1, the big number, times 10 to the 12, divided by, or the divide sign, 2.2 times 10 to the 10. Get a mark for that. And then once we divide, just make sure we time, put that in the calculator with brackets, divided by brackets, you get 50. And we're done there. Couple we past paper questions standard form. So 2016, paper two, question two. A pollen sample weighs 12 grams and contains 1.5 times 10 to the 9 pollen grains. Calculate the weight of one pollen grain in grams. Give your answer in scientific notation. So it's asking for a weight of one of the things. So I need to divide by 1.5 times 10 to the 9 to find one of them. So the sum I'm going to do is 12 divided by 1.5 times 10 to the 9. And I'll put that in brackets to remind myself that when I get my calculator out, I'll need to use a brackets around it. So that's 12 divided by 1.5 to the power times 10 to the power of 9. That gives me 0 
0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,
a star is something meters away. Meters away. Meters is distance. So I've got a distance. And that equals 4.2 times 10 to the 17 meters. And then it says, calculate the number of seconds it takes for light to reach there. Calculate the number of seconds. Time. I have to work out a time. So time is my missing num thing. So if you don't know, this is a distance speed time question. I've got distance speed and time in the question. So I can write a triangle distance speed time. And to work out what time is, if you don't know, time is this one. So I've got leftover distance divided by speed. So I can immediately write down that time is distance divided by speed. And sub in these big numbers, even though they're huge, right? So the distance is 4.2 times 10 to the 17 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8. Now it's a calculator job, so we need to know how to put that in a calculator. So 4.2, now I'll be a times 10 with a power button on your calculator, or it'll just be EXP. And mine's it's EXP, so I just press EXP and then 17, and that means 4.2 times 10 to the 17. And that's getting divided by, now I'll use brackets to make sure it doesn't mess me up, 3 EXP 8. 3 times 10 to the power 8. And it gives me an answer. And if you're lucky, a calculator will give you an answer in scientific notation. And if it doesn't, write down the answer you get and then convert it yourself. So I'm going to write down the answer I got, making sure I don't miss any zeros. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros after that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 seconds. So now I need to convert that myself into scientific notation, which is a good thing for this video. But normally, your calculator will probably do this for you. But just to remind you, I take the first number, 1, and then it's just point. The next number, 4, there's no other number, so I'm done there. 1.4 times 10, and I need a power. To get my power, just start counting at the first number after the 1. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. To the power of 9, and the units are seconds, and we're done there. Check if I answered the question. I've done it. Job done. Okay, scientific notation, SQ National 5 Maths 2023, paper 2, question 2. The mass of helium atom is 6.64 times 10 to the minus 24. A flask contains 300 grams of this helium. Calculate the number of atoms in the flask. Give your answer in scientific notation. Correct the three significant figures. So sometimes it can be hard to work out exactly what to do with these questions. So sometimes I just use a number for this to see what some would do if it was just a normal number. So let's just imagine that this number was 2. The mass of a helium atom is 2 grams. And I've got 300 grams of these. How many atoms do I have? Well, that's 150, because 2 times 150 is 300, or conversely, I've done 300 divided by 2, and that tells me the number. So I'll just do the same trick now, but use this number instead, and use a calculator. So I'm going to do 300 divided by this number, and hopefully you can see how I worked out I needed to divide. So step 1, I write down my sum, 300 divided by 6.64 times 10 to the minus 24. Using a calculator, 300 divided by, I'll open a bracket, 6.64. Exponential for me, that's e, that means times 10 to the power of, and then it's a negative 24. So if I've done that right, I can close my brackets, I get an answer which is 45.181. So I'm going to write 45.181. One, and there's a bunch of other numbers, but I've rounded it there, times 10 to the 24. So I know that it was 45.181 times 10 to the 24. Now, my calculator is a bit weird and did that. Your calculator might have given you as a 4.5181. And it would say, well, let's say we had to convert that. I've divided by 10. So my times 10 has to go up by a power, times 10 to the 25. So now the last step says, give your answer in scientific notation, which it is, but two three significant figures. So three significant figures are one, two, three, round there. So that means that I'm rounding at this point. So I can just do 4.5 round up to 2, times 10 to the 25, and I'm done there. Now just double check your answer. Let's be clear, Master Dave, for the whole scientific notation in the National 5 Maths. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up and maybe sub subscribe to the channel. Weekly National 5 videos from here on out, right up to the exams in 2024. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.